Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CJ's Quotes and Crafts. Uh, I wanted to do a short video. Uh, I was able to uh, to do some traveling here this last week. And uh, I was in a completely other state, completely other city. And uh, I call, called up a branch of the nearest bank, um, which happened to be uh, Stockman Bank um, out of Montana. And uh, I called them up. I said, hey, th this is what I would like to do. I would like to get some coin. They said, um, sure, uh, we have it in box and in bag. And uh, I thought this was kind of interesting. I was like, well, maybe I'll get one of each. So I ended up going down um, to the bank. And I actually got a bag. Um, this is actually um, what's left of um, the both the bag um, that was a $25 bag. Um, and the box um, that I also went through tonight, uh, which is what this video is kind of recapping. But I thought that it was really cool that a small town out in Montana um, has canvas bags that you can get um, that you can get coin in. So I yeah, I thought it was really awesome. All right, so let's get uh, kind of what we're looking at. So all of these right here are all of the Canadians. Obviously, there's a lot. Um, all of these coins right here are all the ones that came. Uh, in total from the box and the bag um, most of these actually on this side um, came specifically from the box um, so I'm gonna go through a couple of them uh, just to kind of show you um, kind of the ones that I got so I'm going to attempt um, to make this work um, so that one of the earliest ones was a 1919 Philadelphia um, I have a sorry 19 okay so i got a 1921 which of course my camera is not going to ever focus on right there 1921 philadelphia um 1929 philadelphia i'm gonna find the sweet spot on this camera that's exactly what i'm gonna do Uh, 1929 Denver. I also found. There we go. 1929 Denver. Um, found a 1939 Philadelphia. There we go. Um, so I thought it was really interesting to find some some uh, a number actually of really old ones. Um, but here is um, some of the kickers. On the stuff that I found um, so in this box I actually found both a 1947 um, with no star and a 1949 Canadian these are actually the two oldest Canadians that I found in the, in the box and so here is the best part of the entire thing um, in the box I found not one but two I actually found two Indian heads and I found a uh, 1879 Indian head. And then later I found a 1907. Both of these came from the box, uh, which I was completely blown away on because I've found about four or five Indian heads before, um, but I've never found two in one box. Um, so this is um, the oldest... Indian head I have ever found coin roll hunting. Um, the last one I believe was in 1882 um, and this beats it by three years. Um, so I'm pretty pretty wildly stoked on this. I was kind of freaking out when I came across it because I just saw the of America and I knew immediately that it was an Indian head and then the 1907 I saw the wreath on the right hand side. I was like I know what that is um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked that I found not, not one, but two Indians. And especially with how old this one is, that's, that's just amazing. Um, so I just wanted to do a short little recap. Um, there was a couple of other things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I thought this was really interesting. This is the first time that I've ever found something quite this, um, quite this extreme. Um, there is a dyed chip in the R. Um, but then there's this huge uh, die break die chip 
uh, right in the head of Lincoln here. So um, I've seen large pieces like this um, kind of in the date in Liberty, but never like in an interior device like this. Um, because it, this section of um, of the die face is actually recessed or an accuse in the die and that's why it's raised on the coin so um, to have uh, something inside like that, that that's kind of unique so this is definitely a, a keeper as far as um, what I um, what I what I would come across so I found uh, a couple of DDRs um, double dive reverses a couple minor ones um, I found a 1959 um, doubled die obverse. Whoops, was I throwing stuff around? Um, that uh, that I found, uh, and really it was kind of a, um, it was the E that has the ski jump on the bottom that kind of gave it away. Uh, I checked the markers, and uh, it matches all the markers for um, for DDO number one on the Variety Vista website and this camera is not going to focus at all uh, but that's that one so um, some were really really good um, coins that came out of this I have another one that uh, um, I have to kind of uh, figure out and it's actually this one right here this 1967 um, that I found because on the reverse of it as I finger it all up um, um, you can see there we go you can see there's clashing uh, but the problem that I have with the clashing is um, it's not it's not the right location like I'm I'm not sure if it's twisted or I mean rotated or just off-centered um, I'm working on some overlays to try to figure it out because, um, yeah, it's there's there's something about it that that is just off. Um, so that's one of the one of, one of the really cool finds um, out of this stuff. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of a a coin roll hunting um, update on some of the stuff that I've been doing. Um, the uh, uh, a lot of these coins that I have found in this stuff. Or in this in this box and in this bag, um, there was a bunch of of coins from the 80s, so 80, 81, 82, um, and then a bunch in the um, in the 90s um, and in the late 70s. I mean, the vast majority of of these coins were from that time frame. So I thought it was really interesting. Um, the other thing that I also found really interesting is the overall condition of the coins. I mean, the overall condition of the coins um, is is so much that, I mean, you could almost build um, BU um, rolls just from these coins. Like, just the overall condition of the coins are just beautiful, beautiful coins um, with very, very minor... Or no bag marks. Um, there was hardly any that have any kind of corrosion or foreign substance on them. I was really kind of surprised with the overall condition um, of these coins that came from this bank. So uh, that's that's my rant. That's my ramble. Um, great coins. Uh, I've got a bunch of Canadians that I need to go through um, and uh, get those filed away. Uh, so thanks uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for taking the time. Um, to hang out with me. I look forward to seeing you on YouTube and uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.